next now next is now we are talking about the java what is in the case of java what we do in the case of java see like the way a c program which is there must be saved with the c dot c extension right in a similar way in the similar way i'm taking one more platform here this is your windows operating system i am taking down this windows operating system understand here now in this windows operating system what i wanted to do here is let's say here windows operating system is there well in this particular windows operating system what i want is in this particular windows operating system what i want is that any java program when i am writing must be saved with the dot java extensions don't worry i am not explaining only theoretically for all that things which i am writing here the same thing i'll be doing practically and i'll be showing to you right so don't worry about that whether i am showing i am just at present giving you the basic information about all that right well now so here into this now i am writing a program called as hello dot java my program name is hello dot java i am writing this is my name of my program is that is dot java extensions we must have to say this particular code we will call this one as an source code we are calling this one as an source code this is the exactly source code is now into this here now when i am writing so here also now before writing the java program in that corresponding operating system whatever operating system we have in that operating system one software which is there the name of that software is the jdk jdk remember that what is the name of this particular software is the jdk java development kit that java development kit which is there comes into the different versions so just in this class itself i'll be explaining what is jdk well so jdk must be installed in your operating system well now here also we need to compile first java program and then we can run the java program so first in the case of compilation of a java program what all things are being done while compiling any kind of java program the very first thing for compilation of a java program is again i am writing checks the syntax of the language hope you will understand it some things i am writing in the short form so you need to understand that uh, okay so i am writing here checks the syntax of the language after checking the syntax of the language now generates generates the byte code it generates the byte code if if the first step is done if compilation is done if syntactically there is no mistake if that is done then everything is done then only it will generate the byte code the byte code what it is going to generate which is there is there in the form of hello dot well it's in hello dot class it is going to generate so you need to understand here hello dot class hello dot class this particular dot class file what we have at present we will be calling well here i'll be just representing it as an byte code i'll just now explain what exactly byte code is so this particular one which i am going to say it one as an byte code well after the byte code now here there are again few things which comes into the picture now once we generated the byte code here then again few things are coming into the picture one is jit compiler and the second one what again i am saying here is the interpreter which is we are 
covering it under the JVMC. For you initially, number of new terms are coming into the picture. Number of new terms are coming. All that new terms I'll be explaining one by one, one by one, everything I'm just going to explain in that, right? So don't worry about that. Fine. Here, what is this? It is going to do once the byte code is generated. Now we are going to run the program. Whenever we are going to run any kind of program, it will generate some native code. Remember, here I'm not giving any native code format. What is that? Either it is a .exe file either or something like that. I'm not giving anything here that what exactly it is fine. And then in but yes, you can say one thing. It is again a machine code. In Java, we won't be saying anything with the machine code because we don't have to do anything with this particularly. So this is the native code what it is generated, right? Well, so especially the topic which at present I am discussing is the platform independency. What exactly platform independent? Java is since a platform independent language, right? So here now, well, in this case, I'm just writing some more things here. Let's say we have some Mac operating system, some Mac operating system we have, or you can say that is the, we have a Linux operating system or we have, we can have some other XYZ N number of operating systems are available. Well, now we need to understand one more point that the like the way here you have installed the JDK in the Windows operating system in the similar manner you need to install jdk on the mac operating system also but remember one point that this jdk software what you have downloaded for the windows operating system is not going to be the same for the mac operating system also matlab ki jo jdk aapne windows operating system ke liye download kiya hai wahi jdk mac operating system ke liye use mein which means that you must have to download a different JDK for the Mac operating system, which is compatible to the Mac operating system. Remember it right now. Then once you have installed the JDK here in the Mac operating system, what the Mac operating system as I'm showing you here, if you have installed the JDK on that, then what you can do is if you wanted to use this file over here where it is now in the Mac operating system the name of that code is hello dot what is that code is hello dot class file and you wanted to run this program right so we can easily run it that will work fine there won't be any doubt why because already with the JDK itself what you have installed here this JDK is working there and here in order to run that program already this JVM is there which JVM is going to make it compatible to the Mac operating system that is going to be the compatible with the Mac operating system right it is so this is going to com be compatible with the Mac operating system that's the reason that's the reason Java is platform independent right so when uh, uh, we used to say that whether Java is platform independent or not sees so Java is platform independent right but sometimes question what we could get what questions we could get yes okay Java is platform independent and mostly in interviews you will be getting one questions mostly the fresher students those who are here they will be getting a questions specifically that well Java is platform independent but the next question is Java is platform independent because of because of bytecode it is platform independent or because of JVM it is platform independent or so what I say that yes of course when anyone is asking whether the uh, bytecode is jab bhi koi pooch raha hai aap se ki kya bytecode platform independent hai bytecode platform independent hai but it is platform independent because of the complete environment which has been provided by the JDK. Waha pe bhi JDK hai, other operating system mein bhi JDK hai, or then 
it is somebody is able to read it out that code so that's the reason it is a platform independent so the complete environment what all has been provided then it is the platform independent hope you got my point what is the platform independency concept in this so let's have some quick questions and now the question what i have is if again in this also you might be having some questions so okay if you have any question related to what is jdk what is jit what is interpreter what is jvm byte code source code machine code so don't worry just in few minutes again i am going to explain all these basic terminologies related to that what exactly these all things are right now so first questions let's have some quick round of questions the question number 1 is what the question number 1 we have question number 1 c is platform dependent or platform independent language c is c language is platform dependent or independent what is your question what is your answer yes it is platform dependent it is the platform dependent uh, platform dependent right answer is the platform dependent question number 2 if i'll say that java is platform independent or dependent so java when i am talking about the java so it is again i am saying platform platform dependent or platform independent i am asking yes it is platform independent without any doubt in that right uh c compiler is platform independent or not so question number again 3 whether the c compiler compiler is platform independent or dependent so yes it is platform dependent it is platform and mostly you will see that all the file, all the set of files set of files in the case of jdk c compiler and all other things all are platform dependent itself so here you need to understand one thing here as i have given one round of uh, this basic questions related to this and these all questions you will be getting in your documents what you have at present with you so here say i am just showing you the initial document which i uh, which already might have you might be having all these documents so in these documents as already uh, we have given all this sort of things here right so here you can just have a look on uh, these documents and the same the way which i am explaining is the same thing same as it is things is there in the documents also so you need not to have or you need not to be tensed everything as it is i have explained in the documents here see that the just just now before a while i was showing you some kind of document uh, diagram and all so that diagram which is already available here you can have a look on this